preparing to scan. Before collecting measurements with your device, you should consider issues that will affect your measurements. You should have information about the scanned area. You should consider information such as historical background and soil structure of the searched area. You should check the battery and charge status of your product during scanning. You should perform the search with a fully charged device. Low battery level is one of the elements that affect measurements. There should not be any high tension lines, main electric lines, cell towers, objects with high susceptibility, speakers, or objects like magnets within at least 50 meter diameter of the area measured. The person doing the scanning should not have any objects with high magnetic susceptibility on him or her. Heat, radio receivers, solar power, ground minerals, loose soil, salt, water, etc. may have negative effect on measurement results. In order to prevent your measurements from getting affected by magnetic fluctuations, it should always be performed with the north-south axis. Each search should be performed from north to south or from south to north. Using a compass to find your direction is recommended. Starting scans from the north is recommended. The device should be held vertically against the ground and should not be shaken. Your device's height from the ground should be between 10 cm and 15 cm, and this level of height should be maintained throughout the collection of measurements. Do not lift or lower your device during each signal measurement. At least 10 signal pulses and 10 search rows, in other words 3 meters to 3 meters, is recommended for measurement size. The point you doubt in the measurement area should remain in the center of the measurement you perform. If the metal or cavity data is placed on the sides in the graphics collected, measurement should be repeated by centering this data. Wide measurements should be collected when search is performed on an unknown area. For example, search should be performed with 20 signals and 20 rows. Be attentive to keep 30 centimeters between each signal pulse count and 30 centimeters between each search row. You should perform measurements relatively in wider areas, depending on the size of the area measured. If you are searching for large objects such as graves or rooms, you may increase the pulse intervals, for example, keeping 50 centimeters between each signal. If you are searching smaller objects, such as between 20 to 30 centimeters, you should increase the frequency of signal pulse intervals. If a buried object remains under soil for longer amounts of time, the magnetic field it will produce will be higher, and it could be detected easier. You should check the target at least twice by performing the search in the same manner. More measurements will help eliminate minerals and correct errors, if any. The more control scans performed on a potential object, the better your decision will be about whether the item is a real object. You may perform zigzag or parallel scans. If you have completed a scan line, the next one should be performed next to it. The measurement device should not be turned between rows.